The idea for Evernight Academy came from the character, the main character, Bianca, because when I first thought of this story, what I thought of first was her, and I almost saw her in my mind's eye wearing this school uniform. So, of course, I knew that she went to the school and I had questions about the school right away, and that was what the story came from. Uh, this idea of a place that was sort of dark and mysterious, very isolated up in the hills where she would encounter all sorts of things, including vampires. The idea I had about vampires, particularly vampires who were teenaged in appearance, was that they were stuck forever as teenagers. And for all that, we sort of glamorize being that young, it's not the most enjoyable time of your life. And I thought if you had these people who had all these powers and they were young and beautiful forever, but they're also stuck being teenagers for never, forever and they can never completely gain perspective and they can never completely get over the intensity of the emotion that you have at that age. And I thought that that was a really interesting way to look at vampires and at high school. Was I rebellious as a teenager? No, I should have been much more rebellious than I was. I wasted a lot of time not rebelling. So when I wrote Evernight, I knew that Bianca was going to be much more headstrong and do things her own way a little bit more. How did I decide when to reveal the different plot twists and secrets uh, in Evernight and Basically, I sat down and asked myself, what would be the most evil? What would really surprise and disturb the reader the most? And that's what I went for. Do I have any superstitions? I am a little superstitious about the number 13. Uh, if I realize that people have only left 13 comments on my blog, for instance, I get really nervous. Are there vampires walking among us? I have not run into any in New York. Uh, when I used to live in New Orleans, sometimes I wondered. Would I want to live forever? I don't think that I would because it would all feel very liberating maybe for the first hundred years or so, but then you begin to lose the people that you care about. Uh, my next book is Stargazer, which is the second book in the Evernight series, and that is going to be coming out in March.